Hey guys, it's me, Fiona, again. Um, this is just going to be a one-week update postpartum for me and a one-week update for CJ. So, um, I'm going to start off telling you, I didn't tell you guys that he was 6 pounds, 13 ounces, and 18 inches. So, I have a little baby, like a little newborn baby. And um, one uh, some advice for you new moms or if you're pregnant right now, um, do not listen to anybody when they tell you you don't need to buy newborn clothes because there's really no way of telling how big your child is going to be. Like, my child, <clears throat> when I was pregnant, I was like 37 weeks. They told me he was about 6 pounds, and he stayed 6 pounds until I delivered. So I'm thinking, like, oh, everybody, like, he's going to catch up, and he's going to grow. He's going to have a growth spurt. Like, you know that last week they do all their growing? No, he didn't do any growing. He's six pounds. All of his stuff is huge on him. Like, the necks is really droopy. So, um, I would recommend do buy a couple of newborn stuff, like a couple of newborn things. Okay. So, back to him. Um, so... He had his first doctor's appointment and went great. They said everything was fine with him. Like, he is on, um, he's doing good. Um, they checked his, uh, Billy Rubin. It was so low. The doctor was like, I've never seen a baby just coming out of the hospital with a low Billy Rubin. I don't, he was trying to explain the Billy Rubin. I think it was, like, um, about their, uh, brain and, um, how their brain growth is or whatever. Um, but he said it was great. It was low. It's not if it's high, that's a problem. Um, but yeah, his was good. Um, he got circumcised the la the last day he left the hospital. Uh, I felt so bad. I cried when he when they took him off because I knew he was gonna be in pain. Every time he peed, it burned. I was just like, I was so sad. Like. I just knew he was, like, he'll start screaming, like, out of nowhere. I knew he was peeing. I, and I just felt so helpless because I couldn't do anything for him. But, um, he is fine now. It, his little penis looks great, and, and it's healing perfectly. Um, his belly button still hasn't came off yet. Um, and it's been a week. I'm not touching it. It looks like it's about to fall off, but I'm still not touching it. Um, let me think. Oh, yeah, his, uh... Frangulum, the frangulum is this part of your tongue. His is connected all the way to the end, so he could barely stick his tongue out. And that runs in his dad's family because um, his dad got his cut when he was 13. He could barely say, like, S words or um, stuff like that. So um, they're waiting to see. He's able to latch on to my boobs, so they're not really concerned because if it was a problem, he wouldn't be able to latch at all. So, um, yeah, so we, we're just going to monitor that. Um, oh, yeah, and he did come out with some, it's called angel kisses or stork bites on, like, his eyelids and, um, his lips and, like, right here in the middle of his forehead. Um, there's really light, and he's really fair complected. So, um, they're, like, really light red, but they they look so cute to me, so I don't really notice it. And they fade away uh, within a year. Some, and he has a stork bite on the back of his neck that's not going to fade away because the ones on your back and on the back of your neck is a stork bite. The ones on your face are angel kisses. Um, I guess you could Google, to Google that. They don't know what it is. It's just birthmarks. Um, it's not any vein damage or anything like that. It's just little birthmarks. Um... So, that is pretty much it for him. Okay, for me, um, I'm doing well. My stitches have, um, uh, they had, uh, because I got stitches, I didn't get staples. My stitches have, uh, dissolved. That's a good thing. Um, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday because I'm having a lot of swelling. The swelling is normal because I had a lot of fluids in me. Um, a lot of fluids from being pregnant and then a lot of fluids while I was in the hospital. So my feet are constantly swelling. They're swelling about two, uh, two times the size of my normal feet. So at night, I just usually elevate them. But, um, yeah, they swell so bad. Um, and another fun thing that happened to me, um, yesterday is I had a doctor's appointment for my swelling to check my stitches and my incision. And because my hands are numb, this hand is numb. These fingers right here, they're numb and swollen. And, um, I had a, a ultrasound on my arm, um, in the veins to make sure I didn't have a blood clot. So she said, we're, we're going to roll out a blood clot. But she said, if that comes back negative, then you have carpal tunnel. So, 
I have carpal tunnel. My fingers are numb. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. They're swollen. I can barely bend them. I'm just like, <sighs> whatever can happen will happen. Um, and nursing, Ooh, nursing, that's really trying. Like he, because I was, I was, um, I had a C-section. I wasn't able to like really move and do things on him. So, um. I was bottle feeding him. I was doing my best to breastfeed him, but he was so hungry that I couldn't, like, I didn't produce enough milk. And I had the um, colostrum, but it it didn't fill him up. So I had to introduce a bottle. So now he has nipple confusion. So sometimes he latches, sometimes he don't. So I'm just like, and I pump, but I'm pumping, and I only get, like, an ounce and a half from each boob. And he's drinking, like, three ounces, so it's not enough. Um... Let me think. Oh, yeah. And, guys, I had, like, the mommy blues. I wouldn't say it's depression. But, like, the first couple of days, I've been having, like, really high anxiety. Like, everything was giving me anxiety about him. Like, me not doing stuff right. Me being a new mom. Like, everything. So, like, like you could say one thing and I'll start crying. And I'll, like, lose my temper. I'm just like, this is crazy. Um, But, yeah, I'm feeling better now. But... It was crazy. Like, I guess in the dropping your the dropping your hormones um really caused that for me because I never never had anxiety, never suffered from depression. So I'm just like, this is just ridiculous. Like the way I was feeling, it, it was just crazy. And I was lashing out on a lot of people, and I do apologize for that. But I just never never felt that way before. But now I'm feeling better. Um, I am going to do a one week postpartum belly shot and then I'll do um I'll show you um Mr. CJ okay uh, so uh, this is me now so I still got a little, lot of loose skin right here but hopefully it will go away um, yeah, I haven't been, I and I don't have an appetite, that's one thing, I don't have an appetite at all, like today I ate a bagel, I ate half of the bagel and I was full, I didn't want anything more, um, then I had a chicken Caesar wrap, I only had like half of it, and I, I've been eating like 10 hours in between, that could probably be why my milk is like acting funny, cause I'm not eating a lot, but I am drinking a lot. Um, but, I mean, if you have any tips, please let me know, because I'm a little frustrated with this breastfeeding, um, but I'm going to give you a picture, I'm going to give you a shot of CJ, um, he, uh, him is sleeping, so I don't even want to wake him up, let me see, okay, diddle man, hi, diddle man, can you see, can y'all see him, that's my diddle man, Hi, little man. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see him. Um, I'm a bad cameraman. Um, but um, thanks, you guys, for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, you can leave it below. And don't forget to rate, comment, and su subscribe. And if you want to see pictures of him and me um, on my Instagram, it is Fianna Freckles at... Uh, Fianna Freckles on Instagram. Alright, thank you guys for watching.